Hey everybody, what's going on? It's New Year's 2015 and we're all still alive. <laughs> all right guys, thank you very much for watching again. This is Half Man, Half Amazing. Thank you very much to all my subscribers. You guys have been latching onto the wagon and I try to latch on to you guys as well. I check my list uh, or my subscribers this year almost daily and I see the new guys and I try to latch on to you guys. I try to watch as many videos as possible. And I also try to uh, comment on your guys' videos. I love history in general, much more in here comic book history. I mean, I live in Colorado, the home of the Edgar Church Collection. So anything to do with Golden Age, the Church Collection, uh, Silver Age, whatever it is, I love to talk about it, all right? So don't hesitate to comment or, or, or try to reach out to me in that regard, all right? Anyway, um, today I think I'm going to do a little spotlight. Somebody that I want to focus on is somebody, again, from the Golden Age and somebody that was originally here from uh, Fawcett Comics that jumped over here to DC Comics and has been basically a lost, forgotten stepchild of the DC Universe. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you have already figured out who I'm talking about. That is none other than Captain Marvel. Not the Marvel Captain Marvel, but the DC slash Fawcett Comics Captain Marvel. Billy Batson slash Sazam slash... Captain Marvel, all right? Uh, this guy is somebody that uh, I think about a lot. What if? I mean, a lot of what if, right? What if Fawcett would have continued the lawsuit? What if uh, they didn't back down? What if, you know, Fawcett Comics didn't close down in the 50s? A lot of what ifs here in regards to one of my favorite characters here, Captain Marvel, and uh, the legacy it's left behind. Uh, what I'll do in this video is also show you one of the copies of... Uh, not Wiz Comics, but actual Captain Marvel number 50 that I have from World War II as well. But uh, just something that I like to look back on as, you know, a, a little look, kind of like a little glimpse into the past and, and see what, you know, kids and, you know, some, according to uh, the Marvel editor, some illiterate adults were looking through here in the, um, in the Golden Age, right? The people at the war were actually receiving here. Uh, you know, and they're going to do and they're actually receiving packages. So, uh, without further delay, I don't have an editor machine or I don't know how to edit on YouTube. I'm not that uh, capable in regards to the old computer quite yet, but uh, maybe, maybe in some time. All right. But in the meantime, let me take it off the stand and show you guys what I'm talking about. All right. All right. All right, guys. This is a nice little copy here. Not beautiful, but it's in a mylar. But uh, it's a decent copy here of Captain Marvel, number 50. I love that. Something that stands out here. Give to your war funds. Beautiful. Love stuff like that. It just keeps the, uh, the old gold, uh, Golden Age feel to it right there. Let me do this. I'm going to put it on a little stand here while I open this bad boy up for you guys. I'm going to take it out of the Mylar and uh, show you guys what I'm talking about. Now, I'm pretty anal when it comes to comic books. I uh, wash my hands. I try to keep everything on a clean surface. And I um, just want to show you guys what I'm talking about here. Again, this is uh, Captain Marvel number 50. Again, Fawcett Magazine production there. And uh, like... I like to say it's not in the best shape here. A couple of dings and a couple of issues here with the spine where you guys can see in the staples. Talk about stress marks, right? These are like stretch marks on the actual book itself. Just all the way up the staples here, up to the top here. The corner's not the best in the world, but uh, the worst either here. Coming on to the other side. December, of course, all the way down to the corner. And I love that. Love that. Give to your war funds. War bonds, excuse me. Heck yeah, hook it up. Now it's kind of seen better days here, this book. But again, talking about old school, right? Of course, here's the whole Shazam story here. Beautiful. For those of you that don't know, this is Wisdom of Solomon, the Strength of Hercules, 
the stamina of Atlantis, the power of Zeus, the courage of Achilles, and the speed of Mercury. Dang. Talk about some high standards, right? Anyway, that's... Book is off white, of course. But uh, still love this art. Love this Golden Age art, and something that I've uh, been loving here for quite some time. Just the way it's. Some of these things, you know, not the best quality here. You can see the leaking over the letters, and the dabs in the air, and you know. Not the most attention to detail when it came to the Fawcett books, but it's a look into the past, but I'll tell you that. Crisp lines. Beautiful here. Some grease marks here. Some grease marks in regards to this. On the bottom here of the actual book. You can see here some stains, but... Again, I'm very anal when it comes to the books. I like to make sure that uh, the hands are washed, dried thoroughly, I mean thoroughly, and uh, be sure it's a flat surface wherever it is. But um, yeah, it's uh, some good stuff here, the pages here. I wish my camera was a little more uh, detailed here. I'm not sure if this does it justice for you guys. Um, but I like some of these cameras that some of you guys are using. I think I might have to throw some money at one of these cameras to really show you these books. But, uh, yeah. It's pretty crazy. The opposite effect of Shazam. Billy Batson's a tough guy in this one. And Captain Marvel's the weak guy. Pretty cool. Pretty cool on the flip. Yeah, Billy Batson's getting the the heroes finally. He is the man. But um here's the stuff right here. Some ads, of course. What's a book without ads? And then uh the backside here, Grocery Kirk, the dopey dandy. Marvel Villains. Captain Marvel in Villains Valana. Valana. <laughs> Valhalla. Yeah. Here we go. Again, it's a story within the story. You know how it was here in the Golden Age. A lot of comic books had multiple actual stories in the books. The actual story that you're trying to read that the book promotes on the cover is nowhere near what it uh, shows here on this side. It actually looks like I lost some staples here. Staples have been lost in here, so the book's... It's complete, but barely. Yeah, see? There it is, lifting right there. So the staples came off of this page, but... Uh, Good thing is that it's uh, still complete, which is what I'm looking for. Again, I don't need my books to be in mint condition. I just want them to be complete and uh, the cover to be clean. With that, I'll take it. I'm happy to have it. Look at this. What your national war funds will do. School teacher captures German town. I'm telling you, these teachers back in the golden age were, were no joke. National War Fund. Give to your war fund. All right, man. It's good stuff. Love World War II. Love the history of it, and just beautiful. And guys, it's, it's uh, again, this guy doesn't get as much credit as he should. I mean, is he a ripoff of Superman? Maybe. But is he a different angle at the Superman character? Absolutely. I mean, he's a kid. 
a kid that turns into a grown freaking man and a man with Superman like powers, right? It's freaking sick. What kid doesn't imagine that? Then you wonder why this thing was outselling Superman in the freaking Golden Age. No mystery. Yeah. That artwork is just awesome. For the Golden Age, this is ridiculous. Fawcett did have a nice book. Now what's nice is that you can actually pick up some Golden Age in decent condition for fairly cheap. I mean people don't know a lot of these characters and if you just want to hoard on to some uh, Golden Age you can for a decent price, not too expensive. Kellogg Shredder Wheat. Get some. Bit of honey. Meet up, Bit of honey. That's like false advertising. Girls freaking out of a candy bar. I wanted a bit of honey. What you give me this candy bar for? <laughs> anyway, glad this is still intact. Usually these things are gone, long gone. What coupon? What? Hook that up. That is it. It's the book. Like I said, this book is not in the best condition. The pages are just pages once just want to spill out here on the back end. I'm gonna have to go ahead and tuck those back in. So excuse me here while I put this thing down. Try to hook this up here for you guys. There it is. Captain Marvel number 50. What am I, Golden Age? Again, I love it. <laughs> Great looking cover here. Holy moly, did I do that? Yeah, you sure did, boy. There it is. Alright, guys, let me know what you guys think. You like Captain Marvel? You don't like Captain Marvel? You prefer Superman to Captain Marvel? Uh, again, Captain Marvel Adventures number 50. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you very much for watching again. Thank you for subscribing. Catch you guys on the next video, alright? Have a good one.